how to create a login page in Google Sites. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create login pages in Google Sites. Now, whenever you're building a Google site, although it is a really simple and easy process, it does not have some customization such as building members only areas. So if you want to build a members only section where only members are able to access certain pages, you can easily do that within Google Sites. And this is my website over here. This is a makeup website, makeup and style website. And on the right, if I click on my pages over here, I've created this blank page called members. Now you can just delete that. And if you want to get started from scratch, just click on new page on the bottom, name it to members, click on done. And once you click on done, your members only page will be created. Then you can insert the content into your page accordingly. Now by default, you don't have any type of application or integration within Google Sites to make this a members only area, but you're going to be using Auth Pro. So Auth Pro allows you to create protected members only areas to your website. For this, simply head on over to authpro.com. Once you're on authpro.com, you're going to click on sign up now. Once you click on sign up now, you're going to choose your account sign up. So we're going to click on continue. Then you're going to enter your username. So we're going to be naming this Lily Davis. Then we're going to be creating a suitable password. And then you're going to reconfirm your submission. Then you're going to enter your name, email address, and then you're going to enter your website title and website URL. So for this, I'm going to have to publish my Google site first because if it's unpublished, then it cannot be added. I'm just going to view this over here and we're going to enter our site name as Spencer. And then I'm just going to click on publish like this. And then I'm just going to click on view and copy this title or copy the URL. And I'm going to enter the URL and then enter the website title, which is Spencer. After that, we're going to click on create account to create our account. Once done, you're going to click on proceed to set up wizard. And once you click on proceed to set up wizard, you're going to choose how you want your membership area to function. Whether you want members to register for free, if you want them to register for free and only be able to access when they verify their email address. If you want to manually verify members before they can access the membership area, if you want them to be to pay to get access, or if you want to issue a login password for members manually where no self-registration is allowed. Now I want to allow members to register for free and access my members area without having to verify their email address. So I'm just going to choose the first option and continue. Then we have our registration or profile form. So what are the requirements that you are going to ask for your customers? This includes name, email, username, and password. Uh, if I want to collect maybe their phone number, I'm going to create a new field and I'm going to add phone number over here. And then I'm going to choose the field type and I'm going to change that to number. And then the minimum values I think in our country, a phone number is nine or eight digits. And then the maximum value, I'm going to make it 15 digits. No, it's 11, which is the minimum value. And yeah, uh, the maximum value, I'm also going to be setting at 11. So people always add correct phone numbers. And I'm going to display this in the edit profile form. And I'm not going to make this a required field. This is a editable field. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to configure my URLs. So you're going to add your members area URL as well as your field login, protected page authorization, logout as well. So in this, we're going to go back into Google Sites and you're going to open up your members page. So this is our members page right now. I'm going to copy this URL and paste that over here. Once I've done that, I can add a filled page, protected page or logout, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to click on next over here. And I can add some members, but we're just going to proceed without any members. Now, once we've done that, it's time to add our login forms. So this is going to be our login form. This is our registration form, our password reminder, and cancel membership forms. And this is how you protect your members area pages. So 
You can paste the code below to all of your pages which you want accessible by registered members only. And you can add this code, but even if you don't, you still have your members area. But this is required, so you have to allow customers to sign up and you're just going to copy this and you're going to embed this in your Google site. And this is our login form where we're going to go back into our home page on Google. So not on your members page, you're actually going to insert that on your home page and you're going to click on insert and you can embed a code by URL. And we're just going to click on whole page and I'm just going to click on insert and I want the whole page to be inserted, which is going to be our member sign up. And I'm going to place a text box right on top, which is going to be sign up to become a member like this. And I'm going to change the heading style to title heading and I'm going to make it bold like this. Once done, I'm going to proceed to my account manager and publish all of my new settings. And just like that, we have all of our links and codes. Now you can add the rest of these links as well. And we have our members area features where we have page protection codes. We also have logouts and other features. And this way you can make your own members area on your Google site. It's easy, simple, and easily integratable. So now if a person goes to your website and they, you know, browse around, they would be able to see this members area. So it's really important to remove it from your navigation. Now in this, you can click on your main page and you can click on hide from navigation and your members only page is going to be hidden from the navigation of people that are not members. This is especially uh, necessary because if people directly type in the link for your members only area, so if they know what the link to your website is and they type in slash members and that's the link to your members only area, they would be able to access the members only area because until you actually include Auth Pro into the header code of your Google site site, it cannot protect you from direct link access. So you're gonna have to protect it in that way by removing from the navigation. However, if you're trying to build a completely private members only area, so a members only area where nothing can be seen, then you're going to have to go into Auth Pro and you have these member protection codes which you can copy and paste, but because Google Sites does not have that level of customization yet, you're not gonna be able to add these, but on any other website builder, you could add these into your liquid code. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're able to create your own login pages and your own membership areas on Google Sites. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, or if you want to learn more about web building, make sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel where we're going to be teaching you how you can build a Google site, Wix site, Squarespace site, Shopify store, and so much more. And comment down below if there's anything else you would like to know. Have a great day ahead.